Thank you, Justin. Hello again, everyone, from TD Garden. Second meeting in 10 days between these original six franchises and once again division opponents. Second of four meetings this season with the next two at Joe Lewis Arena. Our goaltenders are brought to you by your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Jimmy Howard out with a bruised hand, injured in the game against Philadelphia. Thought he could go, didn't think it was serious, but obviously after warm-up today, Jimmy thought better of it. Jonas Gustafson saw Boston quite a bit in his career with Toronto. Nine games against them with the Leafs, two four and one record. Tuka Rask has started every one of his team's game, and the only one he lost was when his team didn't score. Shut out here by Colorado. In each of the Bruins' victories, three this year, including the one over Detroit, Boston has allowed just one goal. And we are underway as Pavel Datsuk starts with Todd Bertuzzi and Henrik Zetterberg to Kaiser and Quincy on the back end. Louis Erickson up on the right side, number 21. Bergeron, 37, just missed it from Riley Smith. Brendan Smith's brother, but Brendan not in the lineup today. He's a healthy scratch as the Red Wings go with the same lineup they had in the 5-2 victory over Philadelphia on Saturday. The Bruins last played Saturday afternoon against the Columbus Blue Jackets in a 3-1 win despite being down 1-0. That game was in Columbus. The Jackets are going to head to Detroit today and get set to meet the Red Wings at the Joe tomorrow night. Held inside the line by Kelly and delayed offside as Boston has to clear the zone. Mick, they did not. So our first faceoff of this game outside of the center ice drop. Well, Claude Julian said he didn't want to be left out after watching what happened here in Massachusetts yesterday. The uh, Patriots winning with five seconds left in their game. And, of course, the Tigers and Red Sox down to the ninth inning and the Sox coming out on top. He said the Bruins want to be a part of that. So he was watching it all, was at the ball game last night and hopes his team is ready to go. And conversely, Mike Babcock doesn't want to see any kind of what he saw last night. And he doesn't want to see what he saw in here a week ago either with his team not having a very good performance. He said they played about seven, eight minutes and that was it. We gave two power play goals away and that cost us the game as we got a break here now. Well, there's been a Walk. problem with the ice. Yeah, they're going to bring out... Uh the squeegees here and uh, get some of the uh, the extra water off the ice. Yeah, a lot of the Red Wings made their way to the game last night. Pavel Datsuk really excited to be there when it started. Not so much in the end. No kidding. As we arrived here in Boston at the hotel around 5 o'clock, so plenty of time to, to head over. Pavel was pumped to be going over, but uh, sad night at the end. But as we say, today, another day, and go get them at Comerica Park Tigers for the next three. There you go. Well, this game, going back to that uh, a week ago, Tory Krug scored in a power play to start the game. Big Charo scored at the end of the game to finish it, and it was a, a very passive performance for the Red Wings, their first poor game of the season. That led to another one back home against Phoenix, and uh, they don't want to see any more of that. And this was actually a, anybody's game at 2-1. to one. You Remember that goal by Marshawn, a great shot from the corner that caught the far goal post, but then the third goal by Caron was a giveaway by Detroit and it went downhill from there. They didn't compete very hard. They want a lot more of that today. Now, having said that, they came off a game the night before, an emotional 3-2 two, uh, two win and a two-goal comeback in Carolina and were tired or supposedly tired that night. Not so the case here this afternoon in Boston. Brought in by Bartkowski and the Bruins are offside. Your local Toyota dealers scouting report. There's Louis Erickson, new Bruin who got his first goal. Similar situations with Louis Erickson and Stephen Weiss, both trying to get comfortable with new teams. The only difference between the two is Erickson played a lot last year and Stephen Weiss hardly played with a bad wrist and that'll be no Ooh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's the center ice face Gus Gustafson came out and played it, yeah, it so the front linesman waves it off and now where are they going to drop it at center ice that's, center ice. that's yeah. a mistake that's, yeah. that's, that's part of the learning process for the linesman on this hybrid icing call takes a while everybody's got to adjust to it so. you know, Mike Babcock was laughing he knows it too it's yeah. going to take some adjustment so the Red Wings uh, lose some ice footage there. Seidenberg, it's tipped in deep. Krejci goes in after it. Gustafson to play it away from him. Conwall around the 
other way for Daniel Alfredson one of four Red Wings with three points in the victory Saturday over Philadelphia. Here comes Jerome McGinley. McGinley with a shot that was blocked. Came back to the line. Krug with a shot that was blocked. Krug one goal in the season. It came against the Red Wings. A power play tally. Bruins have made one change uh, from their victory over Columbus Saturday with Doug Hamilton out on defense and Adam McQuaid back in who's out there now. He drove Abdelkader into the boards, did McQuaid. Abdelkader then bumped Kelly in behind. Weiss trying to get the puck. Goes around to the far side for Perron. Red Wings have it back at the line. Last shot. His brother Matt was a former Bruins draft pick. Kendall trying to hustle back. Marchant going up there for Boston along with Caron. Lashoff gave it away to Caron. To Marchant went over his stick. Marchant dropped down to the Bruins third line from the second line with Bergeron and Erickson trying to get Marchant to find his game. So he's playing with Kelly and Caron. A bit of a message for the Bruins leading point getter from a season ago, albeit a shortened season. Danny de Kaiser comes back here, and Quincy's got it. Tipped by Drew Miller, but offside at the line. Red Wings Glenn Denning in ahead of the play. And more on Louis Erickson and our Toyota scouting report. Acquired in the Tyler Sagan deal as Sagan and Everly. And prospects went to uh, the Dallas Stars as Louis Erickson came to Boston along with Brendan's brother Riley. Got his first goal as a Bruin in what was a slow start until Saturday. But again, trying to find some chemistry and wasn't really finding it with Marshawn on the left with Bergeron in the middle and that in part is why Marshawn's in the third line and Riley Smith's up to play with Bergeron and Louis Erickson. Back to the line here for Adam McQuaid. Got it in down low. Thornton playing his 500th career game. The tough guy Sean Thornton got a shot in that Gustafson was able to hold on to. Thornton got into a fight with Jared Bowl last game Saturday in Columbus. I wouldn't be surprised if he went with Jordan Tutu, who didn't play against uh, the Bruins in the first meeting here 10 days ago. Well, that name by itself promotes a pugnacious attitude for sure. There's a movie out with John oh, Wayne. Oh, Quiet Man. A quiet Man. And yes. his, uh, his uh, part in that, the name was Sean Thornton, and he was a boxer. What a great movie. And he was shadow boxing in the hall when I went by him about an hour ago <laughs> he's quite a character what a great guy usually those guys are oh, yeah. you don't want to see them on the ice but they're really nice guys off the ice and they'll be an unrestricted free agent end of the year unless the Bruins sign him here's Gustafson with nice save right there off the draw Kaiser did well just to scoop that puck along to Quincy Big Chara moved up on the play Riley Smith has it Bergeron covering up for Chera, got it in down low. Battle in behind the goal, Bergeron. Ian Datsu, two Selkie Trophy candidates year after year. Off the goal post, in behind Gustafson and hit the left post. Datsu back to help. With a lead pass, Zetterberg able to find it. Up along with Bertuzzi. Oh, and he was open, but it bounced off a Bruin leg before it could roll through to Bertuzzi. I can't believe he even tried that. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's no surprise to us to see him every day, but he had to know that number 40 was going to be up there somewhere when he grabbed the puck to the left of Gustafson. Ronwald takes a look and goes rink wide for Alfredson. Aginla with a good play ahead for David Krejci. Milan Lucic. Red Wings break it up, but Aginla was there to keep it in. He's looking for his first goal, Jerome Aginla. And mind you, the Bruins, you've got to be really careful with Boston. They've only given up five goals in four games. And boy, that means you've got to be really good on your penalty kill. And don't put anything on a platter for him like the Red Wings did here a week ago. Here we go. Applicator coming up along with Franzen and Weiss. Runs in the shot and just whistled it high. He was checked just as he was shooting it. Here comes again. 11 30 goal seasons for the familiar number 12. First time in 18 years in the league, starting somewhere other than with the Flames. Weiss checked his man, Marchand, to the line and just kept in by the captain, Chara. 
Marshawn out from the corner. The save. Gustafson rebound. Oh, Gustafson got that one too. As Chara came in from the blue line with a stab at it. And it stayed out. Big hit there by Applicator knocking down Johnny Boychuk. Hindle. That went off the leg of Boychuk. Finds it. Applicator got slewed there. He did step slew foot. By like Chara. That. The Bruins, three of them are up. Just onside. Marshawn, a shot caught off there by Gustafson. Quincy played. Glenn Denning. For Abdelkader. Glenn Denning and Miller go in there against Krug. Krug able to come away with it. Quincy played one, gave it away. Quincy got it right back again. 2-2, bending off a hit from Thornton. A pair of 22s. Yeah. In goes Glenn Denny. McQuaid cleared it around. Miller couldn't block it. Good keep in at the line by Jonathan Erickson. One of those you were talking about in our open of the undrafted players who play in the league when the draft used to be 12 rounds and now down to seven. Erickson, the last pick. Miller with a shot that was stopped by Rats. This will be icing against Boston as Erickson is back to get it. Well, Gustafson, in case you're just joining us, a late starter, but Jimmy Howard found he couldn't go with the bruised hand. A funny hop that took. I mean, about a three foot, not even a short hop. I mean, back to back, very good save right there. And Boychuk's looking for a number on that hit. There you almost an accidental sleep, two foot by Chara. On Abdul Cater. Referees are Brad Watson and John Abair. Another icing here. Oh, it won't be because Boston got to that ice off circle dot first. Gustafson came out and played. You know what? But I think it's developing out of this hybrid icing. There's a lot more decisions being made. So the goalie has to look and see is he is my guy getting beat? What's going on? Who's on first? You gotta connect the dots. So you know it might be more valuable rule than anybody thought when they put it in. To save injuries. Connect the dots to the dots. There you go. Yeah. Bergeron. It's a game of split second decisions, and there's a few more to be made. Datsuk with a smooth move around Riley Smith. Good. And got it to Zetterberg. Back for Datsuk, and just wide. Datsuk pulled it through somehow. Chara. Off for Tuzi, right to Patrice Bergeron. To Louis Erickson. Erickson a left-hand shot, but prefers to play his off-wing, the right side. Zetterberg patiently waiting. Backhander knocked aside by Rask. The outlet try hit Zetterberg and deflected out of play, so the face-off will come outside the Boston line when we return to TD Garden in a 0-0 first period. In the 4-1 loss here to Boston, Henrik Zetterberg had the only goal that was an even strength tally for the Red Wings. Henrik Zetterberg had two goals and three points Saturday against Philadelphia. One of four Red Wings who had three points in that game. The first time four wings had had three points in a game since Wrigley Field, the Winter Classic back in 09. And Henrik Zetterberg, the only constant three that day at Wrigley, three on Saturday against Philadelphia. The other three Red Wings who had three points in the game back at Wrigley, Hosa, Hudler, and Rafalski. Happy Hudler. Right, Off to a good start with Cal. That pass failed to click with Alfredson. He made his best game as a Red Wing on Saturday. Cronwall stepped up on Aginla, gave him no room, and clear he'll dump it back in. You've got to try to uglify things for the Boston Bruins. They're so well structured. They're a team that's missing very little from their championship team of a couple of years ago. Like uglify. You like it? It's a good turn. Well, you, you, you a lot of terms you can call it, but uglify kind of tells it like it is. Make it simple, keep it ugly, don't give them anything to grow on, and don't give it away. Chip and chase. Come back and play more defensive than trying to open the game up until you get your opportunity. Last shot. Made a move from his defense to join the rush. The Tory Crew. Your defensemen have to be really smart on when they're chipping or when they're uh, uh, jumping up into the play or not, and whether they've got support. 
from their winger. That's the key. Bronson missed that pass, came back, crossed the blue line. McQuaid shot it back in. Stephen Weiss carries in across the line. That puck bounced away before Abdelkader could get anywhere near it. It'll be dumped in by Caron. He had one of the Boston goals, an even strength marker in the 4-1 Bruin win here. Long pass ahead for Abdelkader. King, okay. way to do it. Dump it in and go to the bench. Get a fresh guy out there. Marshawn went to clear it around, didn't work. Now on another try, it'll come right back to him. 67 goals the past three years for him. That's as many as Joel Pavelski has with the Sharks. So Marshawn can put it in the net. Looks like Claude Julian's trying to get his attention here, swapping him down to the third line. He scored some big goals for the Bruins, especially in the playoffs. He's a pet. But he can play. Intercepted last shot. Just whistled it wide. Groove being checked by Miller. Kindle gives it over to last shot. Going off was Glenn Denning. So with that, brought back in by Paye. Paye forced in behind, still with it. Goes back to the line to Char and a bullet. Blocked in front of Gustafson by Lashoff. Datsuk just got bumped. He got hit hard. It was Paye who caught him coming out from behind the net. Kendall then got hit behind from Paye. Boychuk gave it right back to Kendall. The Bruins are in a mad scramble to change to match up against Datsuk and Zetterberg and Bertuzzi. But that fourth line for Boston, boy, are they dangerous. They are one of the best fourth lines in the NHL. That's not number one. It would be Paye along with Campbell and Thornton. Yeah. I mean, they, they bring it all. There's a pass in front, knocked away before Datsuk could get it to Zetterberg. Claude Julian loves to match lines. So, they're trying to change, yeah, for sure. Now he's got Bergeron against Datsuk, as we say, two of the best players at both ends of the rink in the game. And here comes the one in white, Datsuk, around Chara, oh. back to Zetterberg, oh. scores! <laughs> Whoa, what a play that was! Pavel Datsuk oh could thread a needle in the dark. What a pass! Well, Zetterberg absolutely threaded the needle on the shot. He was almost at the goal line when he let it go. However, I want you to watch what Datsuk did to six foot nine, 255 pound Chara. There's the turnover. And then it gets created again on a bobble puck here. Datsuk retrieves it, watch him go against Chara, put the puck between his legs, feet, and stick, go around him where he can't interfere. Look where he shot that puck from. About 18 inches in front of the goal line and hit the far post and banked it in. The Chara can't do much about it. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful goal. That'll make all the highlight reels come tonight. So you, now you know why those two love to play together, huh? Well, they're, they're like, I don't know what you call it. They got a magnet thought process. They just seem to know where each other's going to be, or conversely, where the other guy's going to put it, where it needs to be, where they can block. So wow. Zetterberg from Datsuk. And it was the dependable Bergeron who had the puck hop on at center, and Pavel Datsuk took it away. They were both second and third in the respectively in Selkie voting last year for the best defensive forward in the game. Good save, Gustafson off the blast from Dennis Seidenberg. <laughs> Henrik Zetterberg makes it 1-0 Detroit. Tribute to Bill Schmidt in the ruins of the 19 war well, talk about uh, threading the needle. Boy, did this guy ever thread the needle. Short side goal. Hold it right there, guys. Look, look at Datsuk. Throws the puck through here. Then goes around Chara, who can't get much of him. Datsuk elusive, and he exploded behind him. Then when the defenseman dove, Zetterberg's out of your pitcher over here. And look at the goaltender. One push, two pushes with his left leg. Still, Zetterberg right there. 24 inches in front. He lets it go. And it gets in front of the short side goal post and off the far side goal post to make it one nothing. That is a thing of beauty. Weiss with Franzen and Abdelkader who moved in to knock it away from Matt Parkowski, who's got it now. 
Seidenberg, a more dependable defenseman in the league. The pass for Karan too far. And it'll be icing. They soft back into the Boston zone. Well, for a start, the Red Wings are off to a different start than a week ago here. Where Tori Krug scored on a power play to get her going at Zetterberg. So he's on a bit of a roll right now. Five goals in five games and the first period. Miller got it back to the line to lash off. Kendall able to keep it in. Miller. Seidenberg hit by Glenn Denning. Miller moved up. 2-2 covering up. And he's got it back at center. Good pass ahead. Seidenberg hit Miller. The speed of Glenn Denning forced Bartkowski. And Thornton in 2-2. 2-2 got there. Nudgy one back for Kendall. Ron Wall stepped away from a hit from Gregory Campbell. Glenn Denny. Seidenberg careful not to hold him. Krug gave it away at the line. Ron Wall pumped it back in. Around for Krug again for Thornton. Gregory Campbell at center. And off that broken leg in the playoffs last season. Abdelkader pushed it ahead. Weiss gets out. checked at the line. It's not out. Good recovery there by Weiss as Paye was trying to break free on Gustafson. Both teams in the midst of changing. Boychuk will put one back for Chara. Ronwald took a look. Erickson was right on his heels. The teammates in Sochi, Sochi, Russia coming up in February for Sweden. Ronwald and Erickson. Riley Smith. Crew put it in back of the goal. Chuck let it go from the point, and it found its way through. Huh. Mike Babcock bewildered. How did that get in the net? Well, Boychuk certainly never saw it go in. No. He shot it, hit. I think Gustafson it hit him, but he off the backboard. It was back to the point right there. No, did he see it though? I don't know. Erickson was in the way, might even touch it. We'll see. Here's Erickson here. That puck may have hit Louis Erickson, I think, right there. And it had eyes to get in the back of the net. Wow. Not dangerous at all. Everybody seemed to be covered. And it's 1 1 just like that. So the Bruins living right, whoever got it. McQuaid and Franz and deep in the. The Boston zone, Milan Lucic is there. A couple of goals, four points in the season so far for Lucic. Point shot to Kaiser. That's it with Bertuzzi and Franzen. That's it. The Franzen and Zetterberg not out there with this unit. That's who trying to get past. They did left the ball in the corner. Number 21, Louis Erickson. That's for two. Number 55, Tony Whitechuck. Quincy. And number 18, Long shot wide of Rass. Wilhelm Anderson in Alfredson just coming off the bench failed to click. Second goal of the season for Louis Erickson assisted by Johnny Boychuk and Wiley Smith. At so Erickson gets 12. the goal obviously tipped the Boychuk shot. There's a penalty upcoming here as Gustafson stopped that one in the beat of Detroit. Delayed call. Brass goes to the bench. Bartkowski got it back to Seidenberg. Wide open and a double pump from Kelly didn't work. Bergeron's got it at the line. Then empty Boston with six skaters on the late penalty to Detroit. Seidenberg dishes off. Bartkowski back in front. Tipped just wide by Karan. Bergeron for Marshawn. He missed it. Penalty here to Detroit. Pretty good looking six skater attack for Boston. And they'll go to the power play. In a 1-1 tie, you're watching Red Wings hockey on Fox Sports Detroit. Presented by Bell Tire. 
Shannon Hogan here with this game break brought to you by your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. A busy day tomorrow. Game three of the ALCS beginning at 3.30 on Fox. Then Tigers Live immediately following the game on Fox Sports Detroit Plus. And the Wings face the Jackets on Fox Sports Detroit beginning at 7.30. Guys. All right, Shannon, and it's the Austin Bruins with Kendall in the box on a power play. New York should did get the goal. Second of two games. Here's Crew. Passed off the shot. Gustafson got all turned around in front with Chara. Lucic checked at the line but kept it in. His Cleary was all over. Larry and Anderson, penalty killing, Cronwall and Erickson, who gets it down the ice after being hit hard. Freeland Lucic is not going to see an opportunity to give you a whack go by the wayside. He'll punish it. The seven goals last regular season, but seven more in the playoffs for Lucic. He's more a 20 to 25 goal scorer would be the norm for him. Great chief. Turned around by Glenn Danning. Back to Krug. He's got a great shot from back there. Chara! Side of the goal. Bang it in. Chara, Lucic, and again, Chara heads to the front of the net. It's a new look on the Boston power play this season. Chara, one of the harder shots in the league, but screening the goaltender. Given away there and sent back down by Drew Miller. You know, they've only scored two power play goals so far this year, and both of them are against the Red Wings here. Last year, Boston's power play was 26th in the league and just 18 goals, fewest in the National Ooh. Hockey League. That hit a team in front of the Boston bench Ooh. and dropped down. And that's who could set out now for the last 38 seconds, I hope. A reminder, don't get shut out. It's your plan for the $59 fan pack. Two tickets, two hot dogs, two soft drinks. 313-471-7575. Ticket executives are standing by. And by the way, that uh, that game is now an 8 o'clock game uh, due to the baseball game. Right. So it'll be 7.30 pregame here on Fox Sports Detroit. And an 8 o'clock puck drop for the Red Wings and the Blue Jackets tomorrow night. Fired in by Seidenberg. Boychuk will go back with the Kindle penalty now over. So the Red Wings, good job on the penalty kill there against Boston. We're now two for 15 with the man advantage on the season. Marshawn. Brad Marshawn with Karan and Kelly. Kelly with a shot that was blocked. Moved ahead, Datsu. Zetterberg, who's got it, and shoots it, and Rask will move it along. Here's one of those changes I was talking about, Ken. We got Alfredson playing with that suit, and Zetterberg instead of Bertuzzi. You see Cleary up there as well. And already we, we saw, again, uh, Franzen joining that right. suit, and Bertuzzi and not Zetterberg on the line. So, Claude Julian, who will work with Mike Babcock for the Canadian Olympic team in Sochi, Russia, come February. They know one another very well, and in their own little match game here. Trying to get the best matchups for their respective teams. Throw one another off. Natsuk gives it back to Kendall. He wants off. And his mate will follow suit. Less than a minute to go here at TD Garden. First period. Shots are 9-7 Boston in a 1-1 tie. Setterberg and Erickson, the goal scorers. Weiss with a shot with the stop by Rask. Stephen Weiss stays with it. Louis Erickson with his new team is starting to find his way. Weiss hoping to do the same here with Detroit. And he's got one huge goal for the Red Wings. Perfect pass to Krejci. Dropped it back. Lucic off his skate. Erickson with his head up. Jonathan Erickson top of the line by Bartkowski. Oh, the Red Wings. And let that go. That was very nearly too many men. Close change at the bench. Long shot in. Rask will knock it aside in the first period. The siren goes. Here in Boston. 
Well, that's been in play in the first period. Coming up in our Ram first intermission, the goaltenders will talk goaltending. And uh, Jonas Gustafsson, who gets his first start after being injured in the preseason with a groin injury, which hampered him in the first game last year. And Trevor Thompson with the goal scorer, Henrik Zetterberg. Well, I thought he had a pretty good period for a guy that hasn't played any time yet this year. Unfortunate the way that goal went in. I think it hit the pants of Louis Erickson, and it was just bad luck that it found its way through him. But you hate to give him up like that, but they seem to have recovered okay, and we're still at 1-1. Not too bad for after that effort here 10 days ago, so good start. Jimmy Howard out with that bruised hand, a bystander this afternoon. Let's go back to the studio and Shannon. If a Detroit player gets a hat trick in this game, bring a copy of the scoring summary to a participating Arby's location tomorrow and get a free small order of curly fries. You can find a copy of the scoring summary in your newspaper or on the Red Wings page at foxsportsdetroit.com. 1-1 tie after 20, period two about to begin. Bruins wearing their third sweater, first of 12 games this season. They'll wear the black jersey they're wearing here today as Sedano Chara goes back to get it. That's it, Zetterberg and Bertuzzi start for the Red Wings. Louis Erickson and Riley Smith joining Patrice Bergeron. Riley Smith with a shot in and plenty of friends and family here for Riley Smith today. Chance for me to show you our AT&T U-verse reverse here, Ken, and we'll turn it back to the other night. Pavel Datsuk off the skates, off the stick, off his left foot, off his right foot, 20,000 points in the pinball machine, and bingo, not a good goal for Ray Emery to give up, but nonetheless, some high-flying action by number 13 and number 40. Repeated here tonight, a nice move by the Magic Man, Pavel Datsuk, and a perfect shot by Z to make it 1-0. It's now 1-1 as we start period number two. Frank White pass to Brad Marchand. Alfredson put it in back of the goal. Curran to Marchand. Goes back to the line. Barkowski looks up into the netting and out of play. Look at Matt Barkowski, the good young defenseman playing in his second game. And he was originally the one announced as going to Calgary in the trade for Jerome McGinley. However, when McGinley said, no, I don't want to go, to Boston, I want to go to Pittsburgh. Well, Barkowski all of a sudden was uh, taken off, and now, as it turns out, he's a very good prospect. The Bruins are happy he's still here, and then again, he came here as a free agent anyway. They yeah, and also, Terry, Terry Krug was brought into the lineup right. because of that whole fiasco, and they're happy he's here. That's right, Barkowski was a healthy scratch right. when that trade was sort of announced, and that's right, oh, Krug got into the lineup. Was it not oh, not, not official. No, it, it well, the Bruins out. thought it was official. So did Aaron Ward, who announced it <laughs> on Twitter. Yes, twice, but better late than never. He's Harrison with a shot that goes high over top of the goal. But his sources were correct for all intents and purposes. Just somebody said no. Brought back in by Krejci. Yogi say it's never over till it's over. <laughs> very true. Very true. <laughs> Point shot, tipped just over top of the goal by Krejci, and a good shot pass there by Seidenberg from the right point. David Krejci stayed with it for Seidenberg. Wide of the goal, moving in was Krug. Stephen Weiss for Detroit. Pressure from McGinla behind. Flipped by Franzen down ice. Seidenberg knocked down by Abdelkader. Kendall's got it at center for the Red Wings. Abdelkader's like Lucic. He's not going to miss any opportunity he can to lay out. Seidenberg just felt that right there. Remember, there's an accidental hit on Marshawn in the first meeting of the season between Abdelkader and Marshawn. No penalty on the play, but Marshawn didn't like it. Landani with a broken stick. So he and Tutu talking, going, do I take your stick? Or Tutu said, no, I need it for this rush. They're both right-handers. Now <laughs> Denny will get to the bench as the Bruins carry back through center. You're on your own, buddy. Yeah, that's right. 
Jackson. Pearls back out of his own zone. Deliberately through center. Arkowski around for Chara, back in front of the net at sent. To Kaiser, top of the circle, and a shot saved by Rask to a screen for Bertuzzi. That's the kind of shot the Red Wings need to go in the net. They've had to go in against them, a couple against Phoenix, and one here tonight. Zetterberg back for Datsuk, Bertuzzi screening. Went back for Zetterberg, but that was red, and Datsuk knocked it down, but it went right to Bergeron. Bergeron on the right wing, and look at Datsuk get back, tracking it. He lifted his stick to knock the puck away. Are you serious? That, who, who said that? Was that Bergeron? Are you serious? Was that Bergeron? I think it was. It could have been. One of the players said, are that you serious? Funny. Our camera mics picked it up, and I think it was Pavel tracking him back. And it may have been Bergeron who said, are you serious? That is too funny. It could have been. I'd love to hear that again. It could have been. It's a good thing it was. there wasn't a, an, an adjective in front of serious. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was clean family fun. Watch this play. <laughs> oh my god, that's are you serious? <laughs> there it was. <laughs> that is funny. The son of a gun comes out of nowhere. We got a Boston timeout. Oh my oh my. <laughs> or is it Detroit? Oh jeez. That's funny. <laughs> that's what Pavel Datsuk does. He makes you talk to yourself. <laughs> well, on the ice in Detroit is called a, a timeout. We were talking about Marshawn and Abdelkader and how they can go at one another, and they did in the first meeting this season. Right there. And I know that Marshawn didn't like that hit from Abdelkader and had to be helped off. He was okay. He didn't miss any time. Later on, right here, too. <laughs> and Abby actually eased up on him on that one. But, I mean... Those guys play the game the same way, and they get a chance to give you a whack, they're going to give it to you. And Pavel Datsuk, we think, has got Patrice Bergeron. It was in English, too. Are you serious? Nobody does that. No. Well, I'm here to tell you, we see it almost every night. <laughs> Bergeron second in selfie voting. A lot of fun well. in, in between the 200 by 85 rank and some of it's not printable, but boy, oh boy. Here team. it is, to again with a shot and a save by Gustafson and cleared away by Bertuzzi. Good sense of humor to hang with it all. Great chance for Aginla. Great cheek. It's checked off the feed from Aginla. Came right in front for Daniel Cleary. Got out to center, and then Bertuzzi was on top of Aginla on the forecheck. Back down the ice as Gustafson will set it up there. Larry gets it deep. Rass played it away. Anderson was there. Jordan Curran with some help from Kelly. Marshawn played it back to his defense. Pass knocked down intended for Kelly. Here comes Marshawn. Save Gustafson and block it away. Kelly a shot. Kelly, his penalty shot, shorthanded goal, opened the season scoring for the Bruins this year. Shot went wide. Pussy, pussy. Marshawn. Back to Seidenberg. Man to man, boy, you can't miss an assignment now. Perron, Marshawn. Box loose, put back here to Barkowski. Marshawn. Moving in Barkowski. Bruins really buzzing. Last shot to Kendall. And it, not that, though. Off the glass, not out. Marshawn held it in. Dangerous pass, but it worked to Seidenberg. He ran out of real estate. Ice taken away there by Alfredson, who takes the puck away. And finally, the Red Wings get the center. Weiss for Kendall. End of a long shift, just dumps one in. Those are the most frustrating shifts in the game of hockey. You spend the whole, well, it used to be two minutes. Now it's 45, 50 seconds. Chasing the other team around, trying to get the puck out of your own zone. You're and thankful it didn't end up in the net. And you go to the bench and think, what a great shift that was. Got nothing accomplished. Jonathan Erickson. Bronson. Bronson with Applicator and Glenn Denning. 
Krug moved it quickly for Daniel Payet. Gustafson juggled it but held it up in front of the blue to make the save. You're watching Red Wings Hockey on Fox Sports Detroit presented by Bell Tire. Approaching the halfway point of the period and the game and it's time for our high speed charter internet shot of the game and the guy they call Iggy just like our Lariana Igor Aginla with a nasty looking slap shot with traffic that fortunate didn't end up in the net no goals for Aginla well he really brought in a large part hoping he could help the Boston power play which struggled so mightily he had 12 power play points last season between Calgary and Pittsburgh that's more than any Bruin so maybe Aginla can help that Changed it with Chara going to the front of the goal. A great career for Jerome McGinley, the 36-year-old. Here they won. They won the cup. They didn't score a power play goal in the finals. They, pretty rare for that to happen. And you know, every year that we go by, there's more equality in the NHL by design. And that means your special teams have to be that much more special because without them, you're going to have a hard time winning. And that includes the Red Wings. Why that power play and the three goals the other night was good to get her going. She worked the 10 before that. Right back to Pavel Datsuk with the outstretched stick to Zetterberg. Pavel wanted it back. Just over his stick. Pavel and Bergeron again. Datsuk back there. Bergeron checking him. Zetterberg. Louis Erickson couldn't get it out first try and just over the stick of Riley Smith. Brother Brendan for the fourth time in the National Hockey League. But for Brendan being out today, all the family from Mimico, Ontario, made the trip here, and plenty of aunts and uncles from Nova Scotia. Would probably be more Boston fans than Detroit, including on Riley's side, maybe. They can today because Brendan's not playing anyway. Let that go. They let that go because Zetterberg was going off to the bench in the change when Boston fired it around. They thought maybe could have played it. But they didn't know that this guy was already on the ice. Krug at the left point. Jumps into the play, gets it back, and a shot. Gustafson out to stop it. Loose the slot again and blocked in front. That was Helfertson playing goaltender with Gustafson, his countryman. Boy, Krug really trying to make things happen from the blue line in deep again. There he is in the corner. Krug for four goals, his first five playoff games. Last spring, it's in the summertime. Lucic has it. Centered by Ginla. And Gus is in of a tricky shot from in behind. We'll hold on to that. Well, this is why Tory Krug is on the Boston Bruins. He's an offensive thinker. Now watch this play develop, guys. Here he comes in. Hold it right here. Watch here. Here's your guy. Now what he does is pass the puck off. He jumps into the hole. He's going to get it back. Go ahead. But look at this. Hold it. You've got to collapse. You've got the guy covered in front. You're reaching in. Great scoring chance by Dory Krug right there. That's why they like this guy. Small but nifty and thinks the game very well. Nice given goal by the Bruins. Great scoring chance. Franzen busting past Seidenberg. To Weiss scores! Great pass, great shot! Franzen to Weiss, and it's 2-1 Detroit! Isn't that coming off a great chance by the Bruins at the other end? The puck doesn't get in. Another good save by Gustafsson. And Johan Franzen, who was almost out of gas at the end of that chase, got the angle on the Bruins defenseman and then pulled it back on Seidenberg. Watch this. They're going full speed. Pulls up because he knows he can't cut around here. And then out the back door comes Weiss. Got the goaltender moving to the left. Bing up in the top far corner. 2-1 to one Detroit. Stephen Weiss is happy to get his second of the night. Nice pass across the seam right between the defenseman and the forwards back checking. And Red Wings have the lead again. And Weiss's first goal as a Red Wing came in the overtime victory. 3-13 overtime at Carolina when he jammed in a rebound. And now he's got his second in the 2-1 Detroit lead here in Boston. Barkowski. Kendall moves up, then backtracks. As Marshawn, who Weiss just beat him to that loose puck. Marshawn, who heads for the goal the other way. 
Shot hit a body and went harmlessly to the corner. And Marshawn on it again. Drops it off and a shot. Knocked down in front one more time. On a chance of Perron. Got a buckle down. Troy here really buckled down the hatches. Play the game again for a while. That pass knocked away by Quincy. On comes Chara. Sedano Chara in deep with it. Wrap around try. Blocked down by Gustafson. As Quincy skates it out of trouble. Across center and in. Bertuzzi in with Chara. Bertuzzi. Chara and Boychuk. Bertuzzi without his helmet. A little different matchup with Chara when he's got a guy like Bertuzzi. That's it. Pulled that around. To De Kaiser. Waited for a lane that didn't come. But that hurt Bergeron. De Kaiser shot. Stung Bergeron is going to the Boston bench. He's hurt. The shot. Good save by Rask on Datsuk. De Kaiser. Bertuzzi. Just knocked it down in front. And then Chara away from the check of Zetterberg. Ruins a little disheveled here right now. And we'll see how Bergeron is after blocking that shot. He's still bent over at the Boston bench. Bertuzzi still playing without a helmet, isn't it? Well, I like to see it anyway. Doesn't happen very often anymore. He used to tell the players by the way their hair flowed in the breeze. Lucic. Ranchi drops back. Again, the shot. Good save. Gustafson. And back comes Alfredson. Dropped it back across the Cronwall just missed it off the feed from Anderson. Alfredson, Cleary, scores! Daniel Cleary off a great feed from Daniel Alfredson. And the Red Wings have just what you spoke of, a two-goal lead. Nice follow-up by Daniel Cleary. And again, that's going to be a fourth assist for Daniel Alfredson in two games. Bang. Gutierrez got his back to the blue line. He doesn't see Cleary coming in. So it's a late guy with the, the defenseman Cronwall again joining the rush. We've seen a lot of that in the first five games for Detroit. And a bang-bang play. That hit something on the way in. It might have been Cherry's foot, if not the pad of Tuka Rask. And then Cleary has his first, and the Red Wings have a 3-1 lead. And isn't it fitting? It's set up by his former number 11. Yeah. Daniel Alpha. Exactly. Well, the Bruins are on their heels a little bit right after the goal by Weiss and Franz in setting him up. And the Red Wings take advantage of that. Detroit Detroit game scored, game by number play. 71, Daniel Clary. Assisted by number 11, Daniel Alfredson. And number 18, Yoakam Anderson. Yoakam Anderson getting the second assist on that goal. First goal of the season for Daniel Clary. So goals at 8.21 and 10.41. First from Weiss and now from Clary. Of the Red Wings, a two-goal lead. As Franzen came into the fray, using his body. Franzen, Weiss, and Abdelkader. Tori Krug rushing up for Paye. Back for Krug and just tipped it over top of the goal. He's on a forward, doesn't he? Sure does. Yeah. Got a cross a penalty to center. last shot. Well, interesting why this call is made from center ice and the other referee was looking right at it. But nonetheless, the Bruins, it looks like they'll go to the power play, a cross-check on Krug, and uh, it's 3-1. to one. We'll be back. Take a look at our big boy, big play of the game, and it came just a few moments ago. Johan Franzen, good speed down the wing, bad defensive coverage and sorting it out by the Bruins to leave Stephen White that wide open. The guy's coming late from behind. you got to pick him up. Split second, you don't do it. Marchand got there a hair late, and Stephen White made him pay. Put the Red Wings up two to one. And after that, Dan Cleary makes it three to one with his first of the year. That was Weiss's second, our big boy play of the game. Cross-checking penalty to Brian Last Shot. So Boston goes to their second power play. They didn't get a shot on the first one. Detroit Charles will go to the front of the net. You got a good luck. On the left point, the right hand shot moves in there on Cleary. Force the play. Bruins in the corner. Well, yeah. Yeah. Again, the way said no time going in deep. Chara having a run. A big time run at Cronwall. Just a reminder as you enjoy a cold one, to look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game. Brought to you by Miller Lite.
Both these teams playing their third game in five nights today. Red Wings will play their fourth and six nights, obviously, tomorrow. Columbus at 8 o'clock start time, 7.30 pregame. And on Wednesday, we'll head to Colorado to meet one of the NHL's top teams to start the season, the Avalanche under Patrick Waugh. And then on to Phoenix for revenge looking for the Coyotes. who won three straight, including the win over Detroit. Krug made the play at the line. Chara with that reach. Here's Krug. That point top of the circle. Look for a redirect. Krejci got over to keep it in for Krug. Pressured by Cleary. Lucic got it back. Now to David Krejci. For Lucic. Krejci to Krug. Lucic back to Krejci to Tory Crew. Lucic shooting blocked. Cronwall got in front of him. Try to set it up again. Milan Lucic. Lucic again. Gustafson came out and stopped that. Cleared and enough. Just off the stick of Krug and back into the Boston zone. No cigar, but a pretty darn good looking power play by the Bruins now with 23 seconds left in it. In comes Louis Erickson, who has the Bruin goal this afternoon. Seidenberg. Erickson redirected a Boychuk shot to tie the game at one. Boychuk has it now. Five seconds remaining in the last shot penalty. And that'll do it. Good second effort there by Luke Glendening. Playing in his second game. Puck deflects into the net. And a stop in play. And here's what's upcoming for the Red Wings and their next five opponents. Again, these are pregame starts for you. The time at the bottom. 8 o'clock at the Joe tomorrow night. Because the Tigers play in this afternoon in the afternoon at Comerica. So a little more time to get from one spot to the other if you're getting there. And then Patrick Juan, how the Avs and Nathan McKinnon and company, what a start they're off to. Those are all pregame times. Not game time starts. Now Colorado's undefeated. Phoenix has won three in a row. Ottawa's uh, all on the road, mind you, with a rough start, but they're too good for that. They got to recover. They will. So uh, hmm, Daniel Alfredson, Ottawa. Yeah, hmm, tough yes. five games coming up for Detroit. Be a fun one to take in one. Ken Holland said to me tonight, "You're right. Good they save, Rask. They're all tough anymore. Yeah. Shoot the puck, Kendall. He did, but it was blocked." Bouncer back at center. Weiss just chopped it into the Bruins zone. Long pass up through center from Boychuk. Kaiser back for Quincy. Couldn't do anything with it, so Datsuk. Bertuzzi grabbed it for Zetterberg. The Kaiser joining. Bertuzzi heads for the goal. Zetterberg stops up. Knocked away from him, so DeKaiser will come back to pick it up for Pavel Datsuk. Danny DeKaiser, little stutter step at center. Quincy gets it in on Rask, and they'll gladly take the face off in the Boston zone. That's where we'll have it when we come back to TD Garden. This season for the first. The game, Shannon. Uh, don't get shut out. Get a Red Wing 10 or 20 game plan. Your ticket to the best matchups of the season, including original six robberies like you're seeing here today. 313 471 7575 now to speak to a ticket executive. Bergeron couldn't get past Lashoff. After taking the face off, Bergeron goes off. One of the best face off men in the league. 62% last season. Alfredson shooting it in. Anderson took a whack at it. Alfredson able to block it. Here's Thornton with Paye. Saved by Gustafson. Way out to block that. Gustafson, one of those 
many goaltenders had to go with the shorter pads than he used to wear. The new rule this year. Doesn't necessarily result in more goals than what the scores you've seen. It might be a little bit. I think in part it has going through the five hole because some goaltenders two inches off each pad, four inches less to cover in the, between the legs when they go down on the butterfly. Dangerous pass, doesn't get out yet. Let's see another try. Again, one way wide. I think he was looking for a yeah. tip in front of the goal that never happened. Fans frustrated at that. They wanted to shoot the puck. Nick on the Red Wing bench, their coaching staff frustrated, didn't get out. And that's who can set over trying to get out of your own zone. Jonathan Erickson able to knock it down and make the play. Popped up in the middle, and Chara. Read perfectly by Conwall, though. Twice ahead for Abdelkader. Zetterberg oh was going on a change. Bronson came it. off, too. Worked out okay, though. Awareness by the Red Wings not to get caught. Stephen Weiss moving in. Good play through his skates to Abdelkader in the slot. Jordan Caron was there, and he dumped one into the Red Wing bench. So the faceoff will come back deep into the Boston zone. So far, the Red Wings have been able to keep the Bruins off balance here in the second period. As a result, they've gotten two goals and took, taken a 3-1 to one lead. Shots are even, pretty much 18-17 Detroit. But they've not allowed them anything uh, in a couple of turnovers maybe, but uh, not a lot. And that's the big change from the game here a week ago. Kindle at the point, shot just wide of the goal. Behind Franz is with Weissen Abdelkader. The three goals the Bruins have given up. The most they have this season. They're shut out by Colorado. 2 nothing. Their only loss in their three wins. They've only given up one. Including the victory 4-1 here over the Red Wings. So Detroit has the most goals on Boston this season with three. This is where you got a, a couple of minutes and change here in a period. You got a two goal lead in the second period. Boy, you cannot afford to get caught out of position here unnecessarily. You got to earn everything they can get if possible again. And as we learned from last night, leads against Boston aren't necessarily Ooh, safe. Like a shot blocked. Like that shot shouldn't have happened. Glenn Danning ties up Seidenberg. Boston in the midst of a change, so some time here for Erickson, oh. whose pass hit the linesman's skate. Went right to Bergeron, cross ice with it, crew, backhander, save by Gustafson. He's down, flailing away, puck underneath, wow. and it's there. It's covered up. Whistle goes. Of all the freaky things to happen. It's like, why does this have to happen? You, you, you're thinking... It's the play you want to make, but there was a simpler play to make here. And here it comes. you got four black jerseys in the zone, and this is way, way too good a chance. I think Cronball got a piece of that shot, but nonetheless, look, watch Bergeron here. Go digging for gold. And Jonas Gustafson, I think, has done a very nice job coming in the way he had to. First action of the season coming off the injured reserve. An unfortunate deflection go by him, but he's made some... Very solid saves, and I think it's done a fine job here tonight with a minute and change left in the second period. And again, without a morning skate today because of the early start time on this Columbus Day, Jimmy Howard, as this will be icing, didn't have a chance to uh, to test his injured hand, and uh, it was bruised in the game against Philadelphia, so he thought he might be okay. Didn't think it was a big deal. Talking to him about it, thought he'd be okay. But without a morning skate, he goes out for the warm-up. You can see his left hand is bandaged. He doesn't get out of his duties. <laughs> no, he still has to chart face-offs. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the pen in that left hand, too. See? Yeah. yeah. Should be given the day off for that, don't you think? I would think it's a coach. I can't. I can not find somebody else right down here. Right here. I wonder if Ozzy ever got time off for injury from doing that. Ask him. Ask him that in the studio, guys. 
telling Ozzy he was probably wanting to be batted if they wouldn't ask him to do it again. <laughs> well, I'd imagine you don't want to be there in the first place. That's right. You no, be, you want to be playing. Between the pipes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Here's Crew keeping it in. Shot knocked down, rolls through. Gustafson will grab it. Not with a little extra as a Gimla. No one to throw him in his career. Now somebody's getting the finger, pointing the finger at him. And again, sometimes they pull these guys out of a pile and say, I just don't like the way you're, you're breathing today. You're going to the penalty box, but I don't know if this is the case here. Because again, was certainly trying to get something going because he's frustrated, hasn't got a goal yet. But the Bruins have had three really good opportunities here in the last minute of a 3-1 game into the second period. And Red Wings won't be happy that they're giving chances like this up to Kaiser. Where is he going? He thought he was going to the box, but no. I don't know what we got. Nobody knows what's going on. No, the Kaiser got a penalty. He's just really? going to the dressing room. Yeah, because it's only 30 seconds to go wow. in the period. So the Kaiser did, in fact, get a penalty on that. I don't know how you figure that out of that mess with roughing black jerseys. Well, roughing you just say well. they, they Ginla. pick one. Yeah, I know, but Ginla was roughing up people too. So what? Well, they did get two aside. Who else got here? In Krejci. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So they're even. Two and two. Four on four. Make four. There you go. <laughs> and we didn't have to have a calculator to do it. No. Time the penalties, 19 minutes, room to close this period as Red Wings get a face-off. A little bit of a snow there on Erickson and Chara, two big bodies, and Chara's even bigger than Jonathan. <laughs> 16 years in the NHL. Started in Ottawa, Islanders. Yeah, he and Alfredson <laughs> spent a lot of years together. Watch the snow here from... He well, he sort of missed him. He missed him. He missed him. Yeah. You're not allowed to snow the goaltender. You know that. It's, you get a penalty for that. Oh. You used to see it a lot more. Oh. <laughs> Those poor guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this will end this period. Char Edel. Look at that's that's after him. Look at him pick his pocket. <laughs> He's knocking him down. He sure is. Oh, Five to go in the period. That'll now come to its conclusion with the siren here at TD Garden in Boston on this Columbus Day. And the Red Wings after two with a two goal lead. All that and more discussion in our intermission report brought to you by MGM Grand Detroit. Front net presence for sure on the Red Wings. Stephen Weiss goal as they lead by two. Well, I think the most important thing outside of that last five minutes where Detroit got rather sloppy in their own zone, ended up taking a penalty. Well, they also had the other penalty to Krejci, but I thought it was a pretty good period. They didn't give the Bruins a whole lot, and they don't want to let that continue into the third with a two-goal lead in the last 20 minutes coming up. Pavel Datsuk, one of the most creative people to ever play this game. Here's a little montage of some of his activity today. Jumps on a loose puck at center ice. What a play. He makes around one of the toughest defenders in the game here. <laughs> a 75 foot, I can make it a 150 foot backhand pass. He wipes out Tory Krug there. And then here he's got Bergeron talking to himself. Lifted the stick, doesn't take a penalty. He is artistic and magic and wonderful to watch on a day-to-day -day basis. And our ice time for Chera and Pavel Datsuk brought to you by Motor City Casino Hotel. Chera usually and Seidenberg are the two leaders in ice time for Boston and Datsuk with the forwards. He and Zetterberg usually lug most of the ice time for the Red Wings. So the Red Wings lead the Bruins by a 3-1 score. First time this season the Bruins have trailed by two goals in a game or let in more than one non-empty net goal in a game. Teams will begin the third period. Four aside with 90 seconds remaining in the penalties to Krejci and to Kaiser. Red Wings want to shut the door here on that sloppiness in the late second period with a two-goal lead. The last thing you want to do is put it on a platter for them to get in with a shot. You want to hold this two-goal lead as long as you possibly can, if not if not add to it. Setterberg with a backhander that Rash stopped easily. Moving in is Jonathan Erickson. Gets checked. 
Patrice Bergeron, Datsuk all over him. Hawken, he is something else today, Hawken defensively. Zetterberg. Interesting you say that about Powell, because it was Hawken who found him. Hawken Anderson. Hawken Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Sean Wu, and that playing crazy outside of the post after it got to Gustafson. The stop. He is, an, I mean, I can't find enough adjectives to, I mean, we get to see him every day, and he just, in spite of all that, he finds different ways to go, wow, what did he do now? Yeah. But when you've got the kind of mind he does to play the game and the creativity and the skill, there's very few like it, boy. And especially when he can do what he does defensively to go with his offensive skills. Franzen to the opposite side for Daniel Alfredson. Back in front, Franzen got to the puck as it bounced off Seidenberg. Spinorama play here by Franzen. And another one. He'll be dizzy in a moment. Seidenberg goes down. Team's back at five aside. Krejci and DeKaiser are out of their respective penalty boxes. Gustafson will leave it for Applicator. Jimmy Howard still expected to go tomorrow. Against the Blue Jackets, Joe tomorrow night, 7:30 on Fox Sports Detroit. Tory Krug. Larry couldn't get it cleanly. Krejci to a Ginla. Ginla with one assist as a, a Bruin thus far. Pass out of reach, and Tory Krug will go back to get it. She checked by Luke Glendening. He's made his way over to Erickson to Jordan 2-2. Glendening on the fly. 2-2 carries in. Got it back and a shot. And Rask will hold on. Broken play right there. Got a pretty good scoring chance for number 22. That took again. He, just, he recognizes an opportunity and he just kicks it into another gear. He's a nightmare for... Guys, he's playing against, and he has done a really good job against one of the best defensive hockey players in the game, and that's Bergeron. But he's got another one against him, and he's talking to himself. That was him on the, the, the mic that we picked up and said, You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Are you serious? Was the quote? Yes. Yeah. On a one handed check by Datsuk on a great scoring chance. Datsuk's got it again. Spin around and number two. He puck loose, and Rask will hold on. Was Zetterberg lurking at the periphery of the crease? Well, Datsuku, six consecutive Selkie finalists, NHL record for best defensive forward. You know what he can do offensively with plays like this. Well, the great players in this game over the years have always been two and three steps ahead of everybody else, and this guy's no exception. He's looking around thinking of number three when he's pulling off number one. Amazing. Boychuk. Gustafson cleared it aside. Datsuk off the boards and down. I'm going to get it is Chara. Plus 80 the past three seasons. Sedano Chara leading all NHL defensemen. Fourth in goals the past three years and ninth in points among blue liners. A reminder to vote for your Red Wings McDonald's Player of the Game, presented by the Steak and Egg McMuffin or Biscuit. Using your cell phone, text WINGS, followed by a space in the player's uniform number to 37338. Or vote online at foxsportsdetroit.com and see final results on our post-game edition of Red Wings Live. And check your text reply for a special offer from McDonald's. In front. Oh, and Anderson chopped the puck and a good feed from Cleary. Nearly made it 4-1. to one. And out there against another former teammate from Ottawa, Chris Kelly, number 23 for Boston. They played with Grand Rapids for a season in the early 2000s. Mask with Wade and down the ice. Again, for the most part, the, uh, the Red Wings have kept the, the Boston Bruins off balance in this hockey game. It's been a fractured kind of game, tough to play. Krejci with a shot block. Back come the Red Wings. Twice. 
Getting it back on a deflected puck. Weiss stays with it. Lucic for the Bruins. Around for Tory Crew. Reverses that. Now David Krejci. Inla put it back into the corner. Krejci nestled in front. Tied up by Weiss. Lucic penalty going to get it. He's going to get it. Cromwell? Cromwell. Oh, my. Inla with a good move. Still with it. Back in front. Empty net. Can't bang it home. Still loose. And the whistle goes. Well, I'll tell you, Cronwell's not going to be happy that he got the penalty and not Lucic on this exchange. Fans don't like it here. They thought the whistle shouldn't have gone. Mad scramble around the wild open net. Lucic is holding on to his stick with his left elbow. And that's what Cronwall's complaining about. And then the scramble is on after that. Oh, my God. I mean, that's quite safe to go. Right there. Another one. Right there. Oh, macro. That's wild. So the Bruins have a big chance. They're 0 for 2. There's the save right there. Look at that big wide open net. And then he blocked a shot for Krejci. So the Bruins go to their third power play of this afternoon. The Red Wings have not had a try at theirs. Yes, sir. Matt Barkowski gets oh, knocked down by Cleary and another penalty. Oh, my. There's a late call. Oh, wow. Five six, on three. Six seconds in. Remember to open the season, wow. the Red Wings had two key five on three penalty kills against Buffalo. This... Dan Cleary's not liking it, thinking he stepped on my stick. Now, it's one thing for a player to trip a guy. Let's see, try to read it. No, no, he hit him. He hit the skate, the left skate. He had all the weight on it, and that knocked him down. Didn't take much. So the now Bruins. Boston's called timeout. They've tied their timeout now. Red Wings have already used wow. theirs. Six seconds into the penalty. So you got a minute and 54 if there's nothing else. And the Bruins are not thinking one. They're thinking two here to tie this game. And the Boston Bruins were shorthanded a couple of times, five on three in their opener. So as was the Red Wings. So Detroit hoping for some success like they had against the Sabres in a key time in the game. Just 4.56 gone in the third period, up by two goals. And they lose one of their better penalty killers back there at Cronwall in the box. You can bet that the Bruins are talking about patience. You got to have patience. We got plenty of time. Let's just make sure we just don't start firing it from 50, 60 feet when we can set it up for what should be a good slam in front of the net. How tight of a diamond will the Red Wings play their three man in front of Gustafson? So Datsuk and Bergeron, two of the best faceoff men in the NHL, Quincy and Erickson. They didn't drop it fairly, and Bergeron will have to come out. That's why. So Datsuk will have another opponent in the circle, and it'll be David Krejci with Louis Erickson on the right side. Char and Aginla at the points. Loose puck grabbed here by Erickson, and that'll kill off some important clock. Save about 15 seconds or so by the Bruins, bring it back up ice. And for 56. Krejci carries in. Sends it back here to Char. From the five on three, they've got Char at the point, not in front. That's where Bergeron is. Erickson this side. Aginla for Char to Aginla. Looking for that one time. Krejci goes back to him. The mismatch down low across the front of the Aginla one timer. Why? Char holds it in. Louis Erickson. Aginla, who scored a boatload of goals from that side of the ice. Try to free up Chara. There it is. The shot. Save Gustafson. Erickson to Chara again. Again, the one-timer. Deflected through. Gustafson stopped it. That's who clears it. Red Wings can get a change. Move quickly here by Rask. 50 seconds left in the penalty to Cronwall. Back at the line. Again, look, goes down low. Back in front. Bouncing puck. Knocked away. Chara shooting. Gustafson stopped 
Erickson kicked at. Puck's knocked away. De Kaiser tries to clear. Another attempt. Pestered by Bergeron. Keeps it along the wall, though. Bruins come up with the puck. Shot saved. Gustafson. Oh, Chara. Missed. Erickson's got it. Checked here by De Kaiser. Chara across. Again, the right foot high and wide. Shooting gallery. Dozen seconds left the Conwall penalty. Again, let's got it. A six second differential on the penalty. Back in front. Oh, and not all of that did Erickson get. Conwall standing in the box. Krejci goes down low with it. Bergeron had a block. Conwall out of the box. Five on four. Chara shooting wide of the goal. Cleary's out of the box. Red Wings have killed off the five on three. Cleary got to the puck. Back it goes to Sederberg. Cleary catching up. He's rested. Sederberg looks for him. There it is. And he ran into Rask. The puck's off to the corner. Alfredson in behind to Cleary. What a job by the Red Wings. Cleary's got it. Stick lifted by Alfredson. Didn't get a shot at it. Quincy will fire one. Over here for Corral. Kelly on a redirect to Marshawn. Puts on the brakes, turns, shoots high over the glove of Gustafson. Sent out to center by Alfredson. Marshawn knocked away. Boston had three shots in that five on three for nearly two minutes. Deflected and just wide of Gustafson. down the ice and no ice. What a mad couple of minutes that was. Minute and 54 seconds. If they had only three on goal, and that may be revised, they had at least eight or nine opportunities that got blocked or missed the net. McGinley had to oh, yeah. for himself. He fired wide a couple of times, has to char. Ron Wall to Franzen. With some help from Weiss. Coming late is Kindle. Weiss defers to Abdelkader. Skate save made here by Rask. Kindle held the line. Puck's knocked away, and he took it away from Paye. With Weiss supporting defensively. Angled around it to Kaiser. Trying the other way now for Kindle. Drew Miller, a little wet shot. Got it back to the Boston zone. 26-25 of the shots in favor of Boston. Well, like they did against Buffalo to open the season. The Red Wings, five on three. Penalty kill, huge here in Boston. The Kaiser got his head up. Just as Boychick was coming to hit him. Luke Glendening. Out with Miller in 2-2. Fires and missed. All the way back at center for Cronwell. They go end to end here. Erickson in for Luke Glendening. Off the heel of his stick in there against Chara. Glendening using that speed again. He went to the Red Wings development camp to work on his skating late in the summer. Well before training camp. And it's paid off. And Denny got a stick in the lane there. Here's Char. Down low, circles the goal. Knocked away by Glendening. He goes back to the line. It would open the way. Off a leg and wide. Er, broken stick. Well, Lucci thought, thought that was he, the puck. He thought the tape stick that broke was yes, the puck. He did. He looked behind him. Still laying back there behind the net. And he looked and went, what? There's two pucks on the ice. Here comes Datsu. Riley Smith watching him. Bertuzzi with a chip in that Rask will settle for Char. Red Wings tag up as Quincy fires in. That's it. Zetterberg and Bertuzzi both go in. Rask out to play it. For Riley Smith, taken away by Pavel Datsuk, and Smith knocked down Datsuk, who has it in his skates. Gets back up. Chara for Louis Erickson. Bergeron could have absolutely destroyed Datsuk there. And I don't know if it was respect or not. He didn't hammer him. He was a bit of blindside check, maybe just smart. From him, probably was you know, respect. Yep. Yeah. If he gets hit there, he's in a dangerous situation by the boys. Danny to Kaiser. Plays offside. 9.05 to go, third period. Detroit by two at TD Garden in Boston on Columbus Day. Well, the Red Wings have just survived a 
minute and 54 seconds of five on three Boston Bruin power play. Look at this wild play. Off a of skate and went off the skate of Lucic right there. Now you think there's two pucks? Look at this. Lucic looks and he goes, where do I go? He goes for this one thinking it's the puck and he's looking at his left foot. That's a piece of equipment off the back of his skate that he thought was a puck. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Here's the big guy, Milan Lucic. Two goals on the year. And he's waiting for the repair for the yeah, skate. Yeah. That's why he's it could have been sitting the, back there waiting it, for it to be fixed. It could have been the upper part of the, what do they call that, the flap on the back of your skate above your ankle, uh, your Achilles protector, Achilles tendon. So he may miss that. a shift or two while he's waiting back there for it. He's probably waiting for another skate because yeah, they can't repair that. Good work in the Red Wings' favor. They're pretty quick now. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. What's it? What's it? What is that? It's an Achilles protector on the back of the skate. Never thought of it. What you call that? Kindle with a <laughs> shot that Rask will hold on to and face off coming up to his right. Well, I'll score a ticket and a beer starting at just $30 with a red, white, and brew offer. See the Wings battle Columbus. That would be coming up tomorrow night. Or see them take on San Jose October 21st. Visit DetroitRedWings.com for tickets and restrictions. Must be 21 or older to purchase. So the Blue Jackets waiting in Detroit this afternoon. The Red Wings will arrive just before 7 tonight. And they'll meet tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, 7.30. Red Wings live on Fox Sports Detroit at the Joe. Miller in back of the net. Last shot for Glenn Danning. John Thornton with a bouncer that Kindle has to turn for to go back and get through the defenseman up on forward. For a moment as Sean Thornton backs him up. Well, the Bruins go back in on the four check. Claude Julian, it's off in defense first for Boston, but now down by two goals, we'll have to press the issue. Long shot goes off the skate right to Campbell, then redirected and up into the netting. We'll be back in a moment, no, Detroit by the two. The Boston Bruins were the first U.S.-based team in the NHL celebrating their 90th year, 1924, and before the game tonight, the great Milt Schmidt mix. 1934 to 1954, Milt Schmidt was the general manager of the Bruins. He sent Wayne Cashman and Ace Bailey down to Hershey. It's an eight-hour drive. Three days later, they got to Hershey, and Milt was standing there waiting for him, and he said, where have you been? He was really upset. Cashman looked at him. He said, bad directions, Milty. Bad directions. They hit every watering hole between here the way. and Hershey. Two he said, get on the ice, you two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, the Bruins honoring all the decades uh, that they can here up there. 95 years old, Milt Schmidt. He's coached, managed, played. He's a great player. And what a gentleman he is. Tom before the game in the press room. Driving up to Bertuzzi. Oh, and he ran over Rask. No call from the officials. Incidental contact, they're saying. But a bad Boston giveaway. And Todd Bertuzzi he's, he's nearly hurt. capitalized. He might be Van Zant making his way onto the ice to check on big number 44. The line's cut above up. the eye, I think. Yep, mm -hmm. there it is. It's a he's got a mouse there. Ran into the post. Oh, well, we've seen a lot of this kind of stuff over his 17-year career. You're right, an awful giveaway right there, from Reach, but he got tripped up. Oh. Right eye hit the goal post. Watch the, watch the stick of Boychek, right? The left foot right there made contact. That's why there's no thought of a penalty there. Boychek trying to plead innocence, but nonetheless, Duka Rask went flying in. And his head on the ice, too. Now there's the new rule. You come into the league, you must keep your visor on, have to wear a visor. They're going to phase them out. Todd's one of those who will never wear one. A visor would have stopped that, probably, in that instance from happening, but... Well, he'd take off his helmet if he could. Absolutely. There to intercept is Datsu. Datsu, Zetterberg, and Franzen. Franzen in place of Bertuzzi on this line at the moment.
Aginla moved up. Cronwall went down. Chopped some wood there on Krejci. A little two-hander. Cronwall got it again to Franza. Cronwall sees his mates are changing. They'll just wait this out. Erickson. Sent down ice by Alfredson. Rass cleared it. Riley Smith had it knocked away, allowing to Kaiser to hold the line to keep it in. And Alfredson's going to get a hit and a penalty on McQuaid. McQuaid saying, you want to go? Alfredson says, no, I think not. And those will be going to the penalty box in a moment. Delayed call here against the Red Wings. The whistle will go now. Awkward situation. About four feet from the boards. When you make contact, he will get a boarding penalty. And there it is. Shot in the back. Can't do that, man. We'll be back. Power play room. Shannon Hogan with the game break. Just a reminder that Wings game tomorrow has been moved to an 8 p.m. puck drop because of game three of the ALCS at Comerica Park. We're going to have Wings coverage beginning at 7.30 with Red Wings Live on Fox Sports Detroit. And after the Tigers game, we'll have Tigers Live post game on Fox Sports Detroit Plus. Let's get you back to Boston now and join Ken and Mick. Hey, guys. Boy, you're going to be busy, Shannon. Columbus Blue Jackets with a 2-2 two two record on the season. They're 0-2 at home, just lost to these Bruins. They're 2-0 on the road. Coming into Joe Lewis Arena, but scoring their opponent 7-3 on the road, the reigning Vesna Trophy winner in Sergei Boporovsky. They had a great finish last year. Gardner made the playoffs. Big penalty kill here for Detroit. They did it on the five on three. Let's see what happens now. There's a shot that hit a body in front. Cleary will get it out. Bruins last shot at 650 in the period. There's a 540. It was. There's about 540 to go now in the period. It's been about 10 minutes since the Bruins have last had a shot. The Red Wings with another big penalty kill here. This would be offside. Well, those stretch passes aren't the most desirable in a power play. As soon as the game ends, our coverage continues with Red Wings Live. You hear from the head coach and the players. We'll break it all down for you. Red Wings Live immediately after the game here on Fox Sports Detroit. Daniel Alfredson in the penalty box. So Luke Glendening, the former Michigan Wolverine captain. His final two years in Michigan and the Grand Rapids native. Our top defensive forward is a senior in the CCHA. It's a key penalty kill time here for the Red Wings. Along with uh, his foe in college, albeit before him, Drew Miller, the Spartan. Well, Mike Babcock really liked a couple of the reads that Glenn Denning made Thursday night back in Detroit when he was killing a penalty. He didn't get a ton of ice time, but they really liked the time he had. True. The Legion's all covered here in this game, don't we? With Krug there, too. Here's Lucic. Shooting wide again. Chara. Not on a five on three. He'll head back to his position in front of Gustafson. And good Glendening work again. by Glendenny to get it down the ice. Well, that's what you got to do, boy, in this game. When you get an opportunity, you got to find a way to raise the eyebrows of the coach in a good way and make sure that he doesn't take care of the lineup. Glendenny has done that. Jordan Perron is bumped into by Coco Anderson. Patrice Bergeron wired it around to Kaiser, couldn't scoop Ooh. it. Bad giveaway there. Anderson mad at himself, couldn't get it out, had a chance, didn't get it. Riley Smith back to Bergeron. Now to crew. Shot blocked, but Kaiser got in front of it. Boy, Detroit's done a great job of blocking a lot of shots today. They weren't able to do that in game one in here. Crew, very similar, went down to score a goal. Bruins got their two power play goals they have in the season in that game against Detroit. But not so far today. Good pressure at the line by Miller on Matt Farkowski. Five seconds left in the Alfredson penalty. And that'll do it. Sellout crowd here at TD Garden. Voicing some of their displeasure at the Bruins 
lack of effectiveness, the man advantage here. Which at this moment is costing them in the third period. Gregory Campbell goes back here to the line. Seidenberg's pass across, shot went wide. Campbell moves in again. On there first was Cronwall. Campbell over to Bartkowski. Shot wide, look out! Came right in front of the goal! Oh, Gustafson got a break there. It didn't hit him and go in behind. And Zetterberg's trying to get free, and he can't. But following up that's oh, oh. what a move on Seidenberg. And another one into Zetterberg, out of the air! Whoa, is that something to see? Just missed finishing on that. Zetterberg using that strong body in his backhand. Bartkowski now goes to his forehand. Alfredson lurking. He's got it. Feeds off here to Kindle. And a shot rising high and all the way down the ice. Seidenberg's going, what the heck just happened to me there? How did he do that? Another magic move between wasn't, the feet. It wasn't quite Datsuk on Logan Couture. <laughs> However, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Krejci. Never gets old watching it. No. Nope. If you're us. <laughs> if you're us. <laughs> Qualifier, yeah. yeah. Abdelkader trying to get by Chara. He will. Oh, oh big collision. Whoa, Abdelkader, Rask, and Chara. Bronson, I don't know what the fans want on that one. I mean, self-preservation, I think, for all three at that moment. Krejci carries in, 2-10 to go in the third. Knocked down, Applicator again, taken to the boards. Lucic goes back to the line, good hold in by Seidenberg. David Krejci back of the net, gets dropped down here by Erickson and Lucic. Bonwall and Erickson both in the, behind the net. 2-2 battle, boys! 2-2 two, two battle, boys! Let's go, battle, boys, you hear from the referee. Look at the structure in front. Abdicator Weiss and Anderson all looking around. Wojcik moves in. Ooh, hard shot. Gustafson, good save. Wojcik. The shot from there was deflected earlier in the game by Louis Erickson for Boston's only goal. I believe that Rask is going to the bench. Minute 25 to go in the third period. Game loose in front of that back and they score! We got ourselves a nail biter now. Lucic with his third. Boy, the great pressure of Boston holding on to the puck really paid off, although they got a break on the play. Watch the deflection off the skate. It's Seidenberg is a defenseman down there. Right there. Bang. Off a heavy skate right to the slot. And the big boy, Lucic, is lurking. A nice high backhander to make it 3-2. Both teams have used their timeouts. Nothing left there. When we go back to center ice, Rask will be out as soon as possible. Bad bounce, and they take advantage of it and make it a one-shot game. And there was that horrendous collision at the other end moments ago. And it was Chara who grabbed Applicator actually pulling him down. So Lucic gets his third of the season to make it a 3-2 game here. And Rask is still in net when they score. Him. Now he goes to the bench. Extra skater here for Boston. Gus is in the save. Puck loose, six and skaters for the Bruins, their net is empty. Time the With a minute to go here in the third seconds. period, Boston down by one. Puck to the corner, Datsuk. Back to the line, side for the shot, Datsuk got in front of that. Gregory Campbell checked by Datsuk. Seidenberg, six skaters for Boston. 40 seconds to go in the third. Knocked away in behind, good play, Quincy. Knocked away by Franz. Louis Erickson, point shot, fires, deflected wide. Franz clears, Erickson's got it. 25 seconds to go. Seidenberg went back for Erickson. Off the back of the net in the corner for Marchand. To point shot, shooting Zetterberg, blocked that. Tucked behind the net, dozen seconds to go. Quincy off the glass. Zetterberg can't get it out. Seidenberg, Erickson, five seconds left. The shot blocked by Bronson. Cleared away. That suit's got it. This game is over. Oh. The Red Wings come into Boston and beat the Bruins. Three.
to two. Jonas Gustafson got the late start for the injured Jimmy Howard, and he picks up the victory as he makes 28 saves. Well, the game saver for the Red Wings, as we'll show it to you, is our Miller highlight play of the game. The Miller moment that came in the third period. One minute and 54 seconds of a Boston five on three power play. And the Red Wings only yielded three shots on goal and no goal. And the Bruins expected at least one goal, maybe two. With that much time, they got nothing. With Gustafson and his mates defending, it wasn't a game changer, but it certainly was a game saver for Detroit as we end up three to two. So the Red Wing penalty killing will be the conversation of the day as we head home to face Columbus tomorrow. Huge win here in Boston. And the Red Wings have won five of the past six in here. The Bruins won the previous meeting and uh, the Red Wings score three. The most the Bruins have given up this season as Detroit wins its second straight. A lot more to come. First, though, to the studio we go in Red Wings Live in Shannon, Oak.